The enhancement of Delta's beer production capacity has recorded huge milestones in the local beer manufacturing industry, resulting in the regaining and control of market share to a whopping 96%. Combined installations of the Southerton Lager Packaging Line in 2009 and the Belmont Lager Beer Packaging Line in 2011 have been achieved through a total capital injection of 26.5 million US dollars. The two lines now oversee summed production of 84,000 bottles per hour for 300 mil pint bottles, 84,000 bottles per hour for 375 mil bottles, and an unmatched 55,000 port bottles of 750 milliliter capacity per hour. Now, in 2012, Delta Beverages has just completed installation of yet another lager beer bottling line acquired from Krohn's AG, a world-class German beer plant machinery manufacturer worth some 17 million US dollars. With a rated capacity to package volume similar to the other two lines, this state-of-the-art machinery was assembled from huge pieces of machinery that were delivered to the site in two convoys of bulk carrier trucks. It was a technically challenging experience which required moving 900 tons of dead weight, comprising 9080 containers and 14 red flag waving truckloads of bulk cargo to the Delta Beverages Southerton Depot in Harare. Kron's plant machinery technicians, after a month of training Delta Beverage's own experts in Germany, synchronized the arrival in Zimbabwe with the delivery of the upmarket machinery, accompanied by the incessant roars of forklifts and cranes capable of hoisting between 7 and 45 tons of equipment to the sides. Plant surveyors were on call to oversee the full implementation of the floor plan. Personnel and technicians sequenced the plant sections into place ready for installation in a continual series of measured tasks stretching in to two months. The entire process covers depalletizing empty bottle crates, unpacking bottles from crates, bottle washing and sanitization, automatic inspection of empty bottles, beer filling, bottle crowning, bottle labeling, data coding, filled bottle inspection, crating bottles, and finally palletizing filled bottle crates. Upon the completion of installation with digital computers aiding human expertise, it was soon time for the first test run with water to monitor leakage possibility and overall operability of the plant, making corrective adjustments to meet exact specifications along the way. This went without a hitch. It was testimony of the renowned superior German engineering and the much vaunted Zimbabwean ingenuity. Meanwhile, six massive fermentation vessels were installed to complement the enhanced lager beer packaging capacity. The enormous aluminium tanks are used to ferment beer, and this latest addition brings to 18, the total number of fermentation vessels at the Southerton Brewery. Coming at a total cost of 2.5 million US dollars, the additional fermentation vessels will boost the output of beer by an additional 52,000 hectoliters per month, with annual output projected to rise by a considerable 640,000 hectoliters. This increase in volume is anticipated to go a long way in satisfying the growing demand for beer in Zimbabwe's northern region. The stainless steel tanks were sourced from Holvrijeka Edo, a Netherlands-based company recognized as the world's largest tank manufacturer. Holvrijeka Edo has been in existence since 1947. Finally, the line was ready to produce all of Delta's renowned brands, with the newest brand to be bottled locally being Castle Light. The happy family of Delta's brands, Castle Lager, Lion, Carling Black Label, Zambezi Lager, Zambezi Light, Bollinger's, Eagle Lager, Golden Pilsner, Castle Light and Castle Milk Stout will glide from the line into the market's waiting hands under the banner that says it all. The future is in our brands. Alcohol may be hazardous to health if consumed to excess. The operation of machinery or driving after the consumption of alcohol is not advised. Not for sale to persons under the age of 18.